We got to do the reading. We got to do the reading. Wally Wood signed. Wally Wood signed. Right? Curb, you dog. Curb, you dog. Bars. Wally Wood adds so much detail in his work. Like, look at this. Look in the background. Look at that lady throwing out the dirty dishwater into the alley or into the gutter from the top right which is something that happened back in the day clothes hanging right? people looking out the window people pointing little orphan Melvin look at the person in the garbage can look at that guy a kid Ah, the comic smells like the golden age of comics. Hotel Ritz. Look at this guy's outfit. Hotel Ritz. Doorman. Oh, smoking a big fat stogie by lighting a dollar. Oh, he's got gun. Oh, look at that. The doorman's got guns too. Sword. Grenade load it load it load it what does this say she walks in beauty like the night of cloud cloudless uh, clips climbs and starry skies climbs cloudless climbs and starry skies and all that's bad beat beat all that's beat all that's best of dark and bright meets in her in her aspect and her eyes byron i don't meets meets in her bright meets in her aspects and her eyes in a lollipop little orphan Malvin that's how I read through this girl and dog type story department take a homeless lonely orphan girl an orphan child girl and a faithful lovable highly intelligent mud dog and you have a comic strip that'll tug at your heartstrings and loosen your purse strings and so we present a girl named Melvin and a dog named Gravel in Little Orphan Melvin here she is again and there's the doggy what's the doggy's name again the doggy's name is Gravel there's Gravel looks like a happy dog huh? Melvin what does she have in her hair fork rake ah oh, it's a rake little mini rake what do these guys say the doorman hark Shahib daddy peace bucks it is little orphan Melvin Observe the little princess talking to herself as usual, speaking profound philosophical thoughts, the doorman says. Poor little tyke, looking for a grub steak, no doubt, but we cannot help her. Pun joke. Pun joke. We have important things to do, places to go. There is a new hair tonic. I must track down haha -ha. <laughs> he's bald <laughs> funny let's check it out let's see what Malvin says yes gravel looks to us simple folk like the world's in a powerful mess to quote a simple philosophical idea a stitch in times saves nine a stitch in time saves nine not that 
that has much to do with the story but that's downright good philosophy orf the doggy says a st stitch in time saves nine what does that mean Malvin continues of course us simple folk don't know much about philosophy but as plenty the younger once said impersa monumenti supervaxia s memorial memoria nostrata durabet si vita mervimos what that's latin it's gotta be latin i have no idea what that says arf gravel says of course simple folk like us don't know much about politics either but pairs to me appears to me that if the currency values in the world monetary fund were deflated to meet spiraling revenues economic collapse would be averted for the four uh, slugner fiscal year arf and arf the doggy agrees uh, she's got a little duck and an egg in her hair birdie singing she's full of philosophy let's check it out humph here comes that Malvin child again the old lady's grump like that the old lady's got a lot to say talking to her dog again as usual rocks in the head if you ask me a crazy mix of emotional kid if you ask me the old lady's grumbling oh look at this one mad 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 huh ought to be run out of town talking to a dog like that out of Atta, be hung i say ought to be hung i say the old lady's jumping up and down ought to be hung what a violent little little bitter old lady hark gravel the town gossips are talking about me again talking about how i talk to a dog what's wrong with me talking to a dog she asks and further more gossip the old ladies continue and dogs reply yeah yeah you think having a harmless conversation with a little old dog is a crime or something what's the matter i got fleas or something come to think about it i have haha <laughs> gravel replies there's a little bunny poking out of uh, malvin's hair what's going on the bunny is thinking oh what does she get like these gangsters of course the ways folks is living now the, f the way folks is living now they need their gossip their fancy clothes and their automobiles folks has lost sight of the important things in life the one thing dearer than anything else money she says <laughs> look at her ah uh, there's a pool in the background someone's swimming good house breakings look at these guys who are these gangsters hark fellow crooks look look there one of them sharpening his teeth or taking something out of his teeth with a knife isn't that little orphan Melvin and gravel boy wouldn't it burn daddy peace bucks up 
If we kidnap them, wow. That kid Melvin can put up a good fight. So we'll split up uh, to capture little orphan Melvin and Gravel. You take little orphan Melvin, we take Gravel. <laughs> They're splitting it up. All these guys going out to Gravel. Axel spoke. That's Axel. Axel Maxel. What does the sign say in the background? Wanted. Greasy Axel. Ha <laughs> ha. So he's on the wanted poster. Post no bills. Look at these guys. Wallywood. We are evil and Daddy Peace Bucks is good. So we hate him and despise him and detest him. In fact, him we don't like. So naturally, we are going to blast you. Also, they caught her. Yes. Put her in a can. And all oh, the dogs there too. Weeping wizards, the dog says. You crooks will never blast me. Because my daddy peace bucks will save me at the last minute as usual. Shut up. Or I'll pain or I'll paint bot dots on your eyeballs. Ooh. That's nasty. Oh yeah, she doesn't have any eyeballs. No dots in there. Oh, they blasted her. But doom. Stick me in the cannon. My daddy peace bucks will come at the last minute. <laughs> she blasted her. Last minute. Put in the fuse. My daddy peace bucks will come at the last minute put your finger in the trigger my daddy peace bucks will come at the last minute well maybe a second after the last minute everybody's watching Ha ha, her daddy peace box sure didn't show up at the last minute. Is this daddy peace box? What is this guy? He's got a cigar in his mouth. The crooks are laughing. Wait, wait. It's not being shot out of the cannon 15,000 feet into the air. That a hurt little orphan Malvin. It's not falling 15,000 15, feet down through the sky. That'll hurt little orphan Malvin. It repeats. What's going on? It's at the point where her head shall contact the ground. That'll hurt little orphan Malvin. They're just laughing right. That makes sense. Shunoff. Hey, he's clearing all the rubble from the ground. Yep. Oof. Little orphan Malvin hit the ground. Look, the stranger with the bushy uh, toast toast lead head of hair. That stranger who is fixing the ground where little orphan Malvin is about to fall. Do you know? Do you know what about that stranger? No. What about that stranger? He better use wild root cream oil, Charlie. What is this? Singing it. Poor little orphan Melvin. Daddy Peace Bucks. Daddy Peace Bucks. I knew you would come at the very last minute. I had to come back. I had to come. I was worried sick. I just had to come back and see how you were. I will never leave you again, Gravel. Oh, I came for the dog. 
is Daddy Peace Bucks quick while he is still blinded by the tears in his eyes his empty white eyeballs get him so they put on a wig look at him they got bayonets out they're coming charging towards him why did I hate the guy so much stand back stand back with with stand back you fur shalom jenner crooks stand back else i open this box and you'll never guess what's in this box kleenex no uh locomotive no cigars no blintzes blintzes no do not open till christmas there's no one in the box top secret what's in the box oh look at this you your seven minutes seven minutes to guess are up i have in this box my special assistant formerly of murder inc the grass go get him grasp sick him graspy kill he says oh the bad guys the crooks yay yay they're scared this little cigar dude is the dude in the front it's this guy daddy peace bucks right this guy daddy peace bucks Oh my god, I brought out a bazooka. <laughs> oh, what? Look at this mayhem. What's going on? Kill. Yay. <sighs> Blows up one of them. Machine gun. Look at that. Kill. Yay. -da 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 -da. Cuts him down. Kill. He's got an axe. Yay. Okay. Gas. <laughs> He's pulling a mug. Daddy Peace Bug saying enough. Kill. Yay. What is that? Oh, it's a crowd. Little, uh, what do you call it? Okay, okay, gasp. Stop. He's trying to stop him. Boink. Crossbow? Not crossbow. Oh, no, he's going after little Orphan Melvin. Oh, he's got a little air thing, Mijigi. Blow. Blow gun. Yay. Okay, gasp. Stop gasp whoa enough down boy down rat -tat -tat. he's killing little orphan Melvin and the doggy shot the doggy in the head look at that look at all the bodies in the back oh, what about kill shooting through the coffin gasp on that gasp gasp wants that gas gasp kills gasp and gasp sees his victims gasp gasp out there last gasp 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 can't stop killing gasp gasp can't gasp knives arrows grenades bricks dynamite dart all of it flying out Oh no, little Melvin Hark, little gravel bark, lie down, arf, dead dog, little orphan Melvin, the gas didn't mean to shoot, shoot you, he's a good employee of mine, you know, likes his work and all that, but it'll take care of, I'll take, it'll take care of you. I'll uh, get you the best medical aid possible. I'll spare no expense. Nothing is too good for you. He says. So here's a band-aid. See? The plastic kind, colored like skin. 
this is best kind band-aid possible but daddy peace box what is so important that you have to leave us like this and now I must be off I should read that first and now I must be off important things to do places to go and little Malvin says but daddy peace box what is so important that you have to leave us like this sit up the dog says Arf. come on boy sit up why a few plastic new hair oil why a fantastic new hair oil I heard of that I must track down help help hope off he goes I guess he wants his hair back this is chaos Melvin of course daddy peace box has got lots of things on his mind and can't play all his pay all his attention to a simple folk he got many things on his mind mainly on his mind he got his scalp ha get it gravel scalp on his mind haha -ha, joke Melvin do you really need me uh, hanging around what does that say pants press dot your eyes uh -huh. hark fellow crooks there she is again axel marksel's pool and emporium carl marksel freelance spy and crook that's the guy right there i guess look at these guys it's little orphan malvin again boy wouldn't it burn daddy peace bugs if after spending so much time effort and money in beating us up we blasted that orphan malvin anyhow wait a second that kid Malvin can put up a good <laughs> this is like repeat <laughs> that kill Malvin can put up a good fight so we'll split up to capture little orphan Malvin and gravel we hold your coat and you take orphan Malvin and gravel look at this they're all beat up they don't want to get involved in this no more I wonder if this guy had the uh, tooth lost in the first part. Do we see? Is it? No, it doesn't show. It's over here. Right? Now this gang is all beat up. Right? Check it out. Oh, they're tying her to the train tracks. Let's get this focused. We are so evil, and Daddy Peace Bucks is so good. We like to shoot him full of holes, bash his head in, knock his teeth out, cut him up in little uh, Furschlunger pieces. I don't know what that is. So, naturally, we're going to let a train run over you you dirty dogs the dog says you crooks will never let that train run over me because my daddy peace bucks will save me at the last minute as usual excuse me does anyone have the time oh that's he is that's him right there with the cowboy hat on right, he's got the big stogie does someone have the time I want to know how close it is to the last minute I'm supposed to save little orphan Malvin. <laughs> Yay! It's Daddy Peace Box. Get him! The gangsters say, Daddy Peace Box! Malvin yells out. I knew you'd come at the last minute. Now, let me loose. Let me loose. The train's coming closer.
stand back crooks because here comes my second special assistant pun joke on his magic flying carpet let me loose let me loose she says pun joke yay they know pun joke sleeping scissors pun joke is the big gangster we saw at the beginning right the magic carpet something's wrong you're coming in too low pun joke pull up pull up let me loose let me loose she's yelling mellow in the background pun joke is coming in with this magic carpet Maroon. the sound effects crunch he crashes let me loose let me loose melvin's yelling in the background let's see how bad this crash was <laughs> magic carpet pun joke pun joke what do you mean by such reckless flying i'll have you flying i'll have your flying license revoked please shahab observe this is a uh, uh, hooked rug and somebody unhooked one of the hooks sabotage we would better call a tow truck uh, to take this wreck in is that the magic carpet looks like it it's been unhooked oh there he is no wait pun joke first use your strange in uh, inexplicable oriental power to get rid of these crooks ah shahab you want me to send them away it is well i take my magic rug I throw it over them. I say the magic words for shlung jin er full shlung jinner. Is that how to pronounce that the word? For shlung shlug jinner. Full shlug jinner. Turkish bath on his hat. Yay! Oh, he's got them all in the bag going he's got a little yo-yo yay going yay gone real gone he made them all disappear zip what's going on by jove pun joke how did you do it where did they go shaheeb when one intends to sell a comic book, it's well all, it's well all swear words to expel. However, you impel this servant, you to tell what land these crooks now dwell. If tell I must, I shall. I sent them down to Shahab. little Malvin's yelling in the background let me loose let me loose Oop, yay. what's going on careful Shahab you almost dropped into it yourself the place I sent the crooks down down into a well phew you caught me just in time time jump -o. What time is it? I've got to save little orphan Melvin at the last minute. Let me lose, let me lose, she says. Oh, he's falling into a well here. See that? And Punjo grabs him in the last second. What's going on here? Observe, Shahib. The smoke of the train is in the distance right and i shall save little orphan malvin at the last minute because the train is just coming wrong you shall sell you shall not save little orphan malvin at the last minute because the train is just going oh no 
species in little pieces little orphan malvin and gravel cut to pieces by the choo-choo train here i make the supreme sacrifice my whole tin of band-aids now let me out of here this is disgusting but shahib have you forgotten my strange inexplicable oriental powers observe i take my magic rod and throw it over the this mess ha for slug jinner jinner full shrug jinner arf look at a little orphan melon what a weird tail here now i remove the rug and hark where once little orphan Malvin and gravel were cut up in little pieces, the peeps the pieces are all together again. So welcome. Oh no. The heads the dog heads on uh, Malvin's head. Look at that. Panjo, Panjo, something's gone wrong. Little orphan Malvin, somehow she's different. She needs uh, a shave. Yep leaping gizzards she says look look another hook unhooked from my hooked rug no wonder it didn't work well if you don't succeed try try it try again I say daddy peace box daddy peace box I'm afraid Melvin says afraid afraid my child you should not be afraid you will play the violin again only thing to fear is fear itself and maybe sometimes danger look at me i fear nothing boy am i brave grr arf ha you worm found you at last <laughs> no he's like yay Oh, Daddy Peace Box, I love you so, Malvin says from under the rug. Oh, Daddy Peace Box, my show of affection em embarrasses you. You move away. What a modest Daddy Peace Box. Get your cotton picking ends off me, the old lady says. Kapoing, he's out of there. Come on, pun, pun joke. Let's go hunt for hair tonic. Come on, punch. Oh, come on, punch. Get this rug going. Bawa. Give it the old strange, inexplicable oriental powers but wow shout i can't find the ignition key <laughs> the lady's chasing her they're sitting on the rug ymca on the hat now oh here she comes come on punch contact contact flaps down runway cleared for takeoff but wow hark there she goes he did a little pull brum poke va 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 da bum chuk come on punch oh punch took off let's get this bra braided rug into the air braided rug shahab i have no braided rug i have only hooked rugs haha <laughs> He's out. Roosh. He's on the wrong rug. Now I've got you, you worm. Careful, I have a new hair tonic that I have managed to grow one hair. Was so careful. Oh, he's pulling on his hair. He's got one hair. 
daddy peace box every time we find each other you go away is it is it because of a your business b the political situation c my bo malvin's asking creeping blizzards the dog says it is because of neither the old lady says the reason that daddy, daddy peace bucks always goes away is because d i am mommy peace bucks and this worm's been dodging me for years by the way i don't know you how come how come you call daddy peace bucks daddy she asks ah the dog's got his fighting stance on daddy peace bucks smiling with a cigar oh what's she doing she's changing her clothes well if you'll just give me a chance to tidy up a tidy up and change into something fresh i'll tell you you see I've been around a long time and a girl doesn't get any younger you know but my public wants me as the child they always remember with those ridiculous cotton stockings that fantastic hairdo and my eyeballs turned up so it's only the white shows of course us simple folk like to change into our normal outfits after a day's work like this so she's changing up <laughs> this is what she changes into so what's wrong with me calling him daddy peace bucks yay, yay, yay. look at that what's the dog say the end and he's got a big smile on his face lady in red That's little orphan Malvin holding one of those cigarettes with the smoking thing on there. 